हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम सी ए अक्षता उड़पा वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट वन फेमस इंडिकेटर दैट इज वी वैप विच इज वेरी मच यूज्ड बाय इवन द बिग प्लेयर्स एज वेल एज द रिटेल ट्रेडर्स बिफोर दैट I want to add a word of caution that there are lot many channels in my name, both on Telegram as well as on Instagram and yeah, also on YouTube. Um, please be aware of these fraudsters. I don't ask for money. I don't give any advisory services. I have only one Telegram channel that is Udupa Finance. The link to which is given in the description. Please check out my Telegram channel and Insta using the link given in the description. Don't uh, follow any other channels which you uh, get randomly. So yeah, coming back to the point, uh, what is VWAP? VWAP is nothing but volume weighted average price. It gives you the uh, weighted average based on the volume. And this is one such indicator which is very commonly used by most of the traders, be it a big players or be it a people like you and me. Okay, so this is a reason that VWAP, if used solely, may not give you the accurate results. Most of the times you might have observed, if you have used only VWAP, you end up getting false breakouts and breakdowns. This is because there are lot many people they, uh, who are using this and they'll take the entry using this particular indicator. So uh, there is lot many confusions created and finally you end up taking the wrong entries. So today let's see what are the advantages of VWAP and where a VWAP can go wrong and how can you use this indicator effectively? Any indicator can work effectively only if the stock selection is good. If you randomly pick some stock and apply any indicator, whatever strategy, however good it might be, will not work. So your stock selection should be proper. That can be based on top gainers, top losers, or it can be based on um, open is equal to high or low or any such stock selection methods. So if you want to check out how to select stocks for intraday, I have already done a separate video on that. I will leave the link in the description. You can check it out. So please select uh, good stocks, good momentum stocks and also make sure that the stock which you selected is liquid. So let's quickly get into the screen and check how VWAP can be used effectively. How can you uh, analyze using VWAP? If you want to open a trading account, then you can open it either with Zeroda Stocks card or Ellis Blue using my referral link. The referral link is given in the description. By opening an account using my referral link, you will get free access to my Haikanashi course. You can see over here, I have selected the stock. Uh, you can see uh, the candles that are formed. Here, uh, there are no body in the candles and uh, very small, small candles are formed in five minutes time frame. So if you select such stocks, whatever indicator you apply, however good is your strategy, that's not going to work. So make sure you select liquid stocks, that is the stocks in which most of them trade. Uh, and VWAP indicator cannot be used for positional trades or for swing trades. VWAP works good only for intraday trading, that is at 5 minutes or 3 minutes time frames. Don't use it on daily time frames. Now, let us see uh, how usually VWAP is used or what is a mistake that most of the beginners do. Uh, as you all know, just go to indicators and type VWAP, you will get this uh, indicator. And uh, most of the time what you do is you just uh, see for the breakout or breakdown of the VWAP indicator and you will directly take the entry. For example, if you take the entry somewhere at this point telling that there is a breakout of VWAP, you can see the stock came down. Or if you check anywhere at this point, you can see one candle was formed and after that again uh, the stock moved in the upward direction. So most of the times you end up getting a false breakouts if you use VWAP individually. Okay, so uh, how well can you you use this. So whenever you use VWAP, if the stock is above VWAP, that means we will assume that the stock is in the uptrend. And whenever the stock is stock moves below VWAP, we assume that the stock is now in the downtrend. And this VWAP line can also act as support and resistance. That is, for example, uh, if you check over here, See, this uh, line, VWAP line is acting as resistance. Stock is continuously trying to break this level, coming till this level and again it moved on. Again, it came, it almost close to the VWAP line and then came down. That means VWAP line is continuously acting as resistance over here. Similarly, it can also act as support. That is, uh, when the stock is moving in the upward direction, it can take support at this level. That is, uh, stock will come near VWAP and then again bounce back. So, this is how VWAP can act 
act as support as well as resistance. If you use only VWAP, then the chances of getting false breakouts and breakdowns are more. Uh, we can say around 50% accuracy can be uh, maintained. Now, how can we uh, increase this accuracy? How can we make sure that the entries that we get through using VWAP indicator is more accurate or more precise? For this, you can combine this indicator with another very simple and uh, very uh, easy to use indicator that is moving average. I'll just put it over here. You just have to click on moving average in the indicators and here in settings change it to change the length to 200 days. So you will be using 200 uh, moving average and VWAP. Now here the condition is that whenever this 200 moving average is above the stock that is whenever the stock is below this 200 moving average that means the stock is in the downtrend even if it is moving above the VWAP you will not look for buying opportunity because the stock is below moving average line so actually the stock is in downtrend but just it is moving above VWAP so we will not look for buying opportunity until the stock moves above 200 moving average so when stock is above VWAP as well as moving average line then we will look for buying and whenever the stock is below the moving average and VWAP line, we will look for selling. Okay, now upon this, if you have any other strategy, you can use it on this. Okay, so uh, let's quickly analyze how this will work. Here you can see uh, the stock is clearly below both of these lines, VWAP as well as uh, 200 moving average. So there you will look for an, an almost closer touch of the stock to the VWAP line. Here, if you see, you got a breakdown over here, right? This candle is a breakdown candle. But uh, here you can see stock came from above and here was a breakdown. In this case, it is always better to wait for the retracement. That is, don't immediately take the trade. The wait for the stock to do a small retracement. Here you can see then the stock again came to this level, right? This is the level at which we have to take the trade. We are not going to take the trade anywhere far away from the VWAP line. So when the stock does a retracement and at this level, when it again comes near the VWAP line, that will be your shorting opportunity. You can see here how well the stock fell, right? And whenever the stock is between these two lines, that is between VWAP and uh, 200 moving average, that means the stock is range bound even if you check in the uh, you know top gainers top losers list or in the open is equal to high low any uh, procedure you follow for stock selection the stock will not come so you cannot blindly apply this on any stock do the proper stock selection and then only take the trade again what i suggest is it is not that you trade in every stocks there are many stocks more than 4000 stocks that doesn't mean that you trade in any stock okay first see which stocks works good for you which is uh, you know which are good liquid stocks list list them out say 10 to 15 stocks with which you are comfortable if you know the movement of those stocks it is not that uh, you can trade in every stocks you have to see how is the movement of the stocks can you relate to that stock only then you can trade in those stocks so keep a list of say 10 to 12 stocks in the watch list and see which of the stocks in your watch list come in the stock selection process when that particular stocks comes in your top gainers top losers list for example take that stock and check for opportunity don't try trading in any random stocks which will definitely not give you good results now uh, here if you see again you got another opportunity here was a break uh, down right around here was a breakdown as i said wait for the retracement and this will be the candle which will give you the entry this candle here uh, you can look for shorting previous candle uh, high can be your stop loss you can go for 1 is to 1.5 rr ratio uh, see usually everyone says 1 is to 2 rr ratio is a uh, best uh, everyone should go for that so that even if you lose two trades in one trade you will make the profits that is true i agree in that but psychology plays a major role in each of your trades so when you are a beginner it is very difficult for you to control the emotions that this is what i learned from my experience that's why initially even if you go for one is to one that's good at least you'll make some profits there slowly as your confidence increase you can wait a little more you can increase it to one is to 1.5 then one is to two so it everything is based on experience it is not that someone says you keep one is to two rr ratio so you'll go and keep one is to two rr ratio no that's not the case because usually what happens you will not wait for 1 is to 2 rr ratio when you are a beginner but when uh, a loss occurs you will just go for you know 
four times five times loss because you want to wait so that you end up in profits so don't keep any big targets initially even if you go by one is to one it is okay for the initial few days uh, so here the target is met you can see uh, similarly if we uh, check a little more here also you can see the stock is below both these lines that is below VWAP as well as 200 moving average so you will look only for shorting so initially uh, here was a breakdown happening around here so you will wait for the retracement okay again when the stock comes closer to VWAP you will uh, go about and take the trade somewhere at this point your stop loss can be just here above the VWAP okay usually this is a, a better thing to do you can keep your stop loss just uh, above the VWAP line so that your stop loss will also be very less when you take the trade when the stock is very close to VWAP and keep a uh, stop loss just above the VWAP line that makes your stop loss points less so that your uh, target can also be easily achieved but also make sure that as I said VWAP is an indicator which most of them use right it's not only you who is using this many traders will use VWAP indicator be it big players or be it retail traders so make sure that when you keep the stop loss you keep a small buffer don't exactly keep it on the VWAP line because then the chances of your stop loss getting hit will be more so keep some buffer and keep your stop loss uh, so yeah here you can see after that stock moved in the downward direction so similarly here also you can see there was a breakdown again wait for the retracement and somewhere here if you take the trade and keep a uh, stop loss just above this uh, VWAP uh, actually this was a range bound day maybe the stock uh, this Infosys might not have come in the uh, stock list as per your stock selection uh, but you can see to some extent stock mode so this is how you have to select the stock here you can see uh, stock was inside this that is between uh, VWAP and moving average so avoid trading here so whenever you see a uh, stock is above VWAP as well as moving average line then you will look for buying opportunity like this here you got a breakout but you will not directly take the trade wait for the retracement and this candle gave you an entry and then you can see it was a very good rally this is how you can avoid the false breakout using VWAP so VWAP is a famous and mostly used indicator that doesn't mean it will give you success all the time as I said if you use just VWAP indicator Max to max, you can get around 50 to 60 percent results. That's it. So whenever you combine it with any other indicator uh, to get additional confirmation, then it can work great. So uh, since most of you uh, use VWAP, I thought of giving this uh, brief idea as to how you can use this indicator. Hope you like this video. If you like this, please give it a like and also uh, join my Telegram channel where I keep posting my uh, you know live analysis. And yeah, you can check out my courses uh, on my website www.caakshataudupa.com. So yeah, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of all the videos that I post. I'll be back with another informative content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.